Hi Pisces, how are you? Welcome to Told as Love Tarot. Um, I hope you like and subscribe if you're returning. Thanks for coming back, Pisces. This is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Pisces in your chart. If you don't know what I mean by in your chart, I actually have a Minutes with Meg video where I describe what it means to like look up your birth chart and what readers mean when they reference your big three. Um, so if you want to check that out, I suggest it for a little help. Um, happy Aries season. Um, I don't really have a pre-message for you, but I'll say that I am um, introducing, I'm not sure it might have been you last time, but uh, I've begun to introduce my um, index card deck into the readings. Um, I've used it with friends and myself and it has resonated so I figured let's just start using it. I feel comfortable with it now so as always if it, this resonates please um, like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave me a comment, send me an email. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading you can email me as well at tolddoeslovetarot at gmail.com all right, uh, passes. Let's get it going. Do a little shuffle, shuffle, and then I just decide, and then yeah, let's go here. Starting a family. I think you're lying. Fantasizing. Communication breakdown. Someone could be a um, Led Zeppelin fan too. I love your energy. I've fought with my family and or friends about or over you. All right, Pisces, for whatever reason, I have to give my family my attention. It's not you. That's at the bottom of the deck. So family is here twice, and I think that's interesting. Um, I had a feeling of like, are, are seeing like maybe someone has a family member who's dating someone that... Um, even starting a family or talking about starting a family with this person and um, maybe there are other family members that just don't like it or don't like the relationship. I feel like someone here is thinking about or trying to like even manifest a family maybe someone here doesn't have a family or doesn't have a good family there's a lot of communication issues um communication issues and lying it's interesting I don't even know if anything I just said made sense, but as always, if it does, please let me know. Oh gosh, Pisces. All right. I don't have any Pisces in my chart and I probably say this every reading. So if it resonates, I really appreciate your likes and your uh, comments. It makes me feel more confident about just saying the things that pop into my noggin. All right the emperor is at the bottom of the deck and he just came out in my last reading which was scorpio so pisces you could be dealing with a scorpio or have that in your chart six seven eight eight of pentacles three of wands reversed three of pentacles reversed 33 that is a high esoteric number it's a divine number 
it's also the empress and the, em the emperor is right here page of swords reversed Okay, Pisces. <clears throat> I had this feeling of like someone, something outside the relationship, um, maybe has like a, like I'm here, like a work wife or just like even like a stupid title is like a friend girl it's not a girlfriend but it's a friend girl it's and i don't think there's anything like i don't think anything sexual ha of nature has actually happened but i feel like you'd think it was moving in that direction or it already had happened um but it hasn't happened. These are just two people who are attracted to each other and act like a couple, but they're not really a couple. Maybe that's why there's so many, there's two threes here. I think so, someone here is working really hard and Someone here may be working on their own. They may be working at from home now and they are actually longing for the days where they used to bitch and complain about the drive and everything into work and the people they dealt with at work and all. Oh, they're actually longing for that because they miss going like going someplace into a building. Someone may have even had to take the bus to go into work, but <coughs> Excuse me. So that leads me to believe too. It could be a school thing. Someone misses going into school. Maybe they do their learning remotely now and it's just the ability to communicate and socialize. It's just not there anymore. They miss that. That's a pretty, that is a very specific message for somebody. Um... We're in Aries season right now. I see a Pisces who's look, feeling pretty good. Maybe doing a lot of traveling on your own for whatever reason. Could be for work or just traveling for pleasure. Something about waiting for transportation, like either waiting for a bus, waiting for a boat, waiting for a ferry, waiting for a, the plane, waiting for someone or something to come pick you up. You may be traveling for work or considering something you've seen online that would involve traveling and going back into work as your own boss in the um, setting, like in a setting, whereas you used to be just a um, online, like work online specifically alone. I don't know. Four Pentacles reversed. Nine of Wands reversed, Nine of Swords reversed, double numbers again. Someone could be 39. 
four of pentacles. The sun is here. I feel like I'm looking at someone who who is like fairly isolated or um, they've like guarded themselves and like put themselves in their own like little cage or something. Oh. Someone feels like they do twice that like for the amount of work they do they get paid for like half of it someone could have a lot of work to do and be like stressed out thinking about it um and having to like balance there's there's a lot of um coins here Maybe someone's having to like balance their books about maybe it I mean it's tax season right now right yeah maybe someone's doing their taxes looking at the books seeing how much was spent versus how much was saved I don't think someone likes what they see though Someone is just very singular. They work alone. They've built this like guard up around them. And <clears throat> I mean, if the Virgo card comes out, the Hermit card, I will crack up. But it's just they work alone. They make their own money. They, they're like very guarded. Um, could be some anxiety specific issues here. Like someone awake in the middle of the night anxious about things maybe anxiety is what's kind of driven this person to working from home and singularly and that's like what's best the lovers reversed gemini energy the high priestess reversed that's pisces energy Four of Swords reversed. Pisces, I feel like someone doesn't understand or see how much you're either stressed out or they feel like you don't see how much they're stressed out. I feel like someone feels like they've had their backs turned on them by people that they care about Pisces, for whatever reason, <clears throat> I just got a feeling there may be a secret either you're involved with that you're keeping from someone else, or there's something about a secret that's like something going on behind someone's back, and um, I that could be part of why you're like keeping a distance or like separating yourself, being guarded while anxious at the same time because you're holding on to this secret. Eight of Swords reversed. Hanged one. Ace of Wands, the moon, holy shit, yeah, something about a secret, man, 
something beginning or something going to start and it's been kept a secret. You've been either asked to keep it a secret and that's where, where you've been stuck to something that's happening around you while keeping someone in the dark about it. You know what I mean? Like three people, like whatever is going on back over here having to do with something starting or beginning or happening. Um, hanged man being, being, I'm just saying that someone stuck in the middle of keeping this person a fool to what's really going on. And what's really going on is some sort of beginning or something. Hmm. Maybe you've been given an offer and you like don't want to tell someone or <clears throat> you've been given something and you don't want to you want to keep it hidden I don't know um, I feel like there's this this desire well not desire it's like trying to keep a secret trying to keep that eight of um swords the truth is are the, the the truth is the swords that are around this person who is bound and blindfolded so they don't see the swords but the person who's keeping them bound and eyes closed from the truth stays up at night stewing about how they are keeping the truth from that person Maybe those are lies to keep someone stuck here in this one position. Ten of Wands. I feel like you consider something or someone a lot of work. Two of Swords. Ten of Wands. You don't tell this person that or... This has to do with that wand that's being kept a secret. Something has been building or been been being built up or happening behind someone's back and it's been being kept a secret from them because this woman is now still blindfolded and she's kind of stuck holding those swords and she doesn't know what's happening behind her and what's happening behind her is all those wands being moved or brought or pushed or built or something about all the work gosh eight nine nine ten like eight nine ten you may have known something for eight to ten weeks months days the Emperor reversed with the Emperor there.
I'm starting to see someone who says some like really mean things. Very hurtful and heavy things. And it's like someone who loses control of their temper. This emperor reversed, he loses control of his temper and he says very hurtful, mean things. And it's part of why someone is kind of keeping themselves separate. Or maybe this is part of why wanting to keep someone kind of like separate and secluded from the truth. Four of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands. And then I'm taking the chariot upright. <clears throat> this speaks of not being happy um, in your current living situation or um, partnership, relationship, business partner. And it's, I feel like it's already been communicated or it will be communicated that someone is moving on. Or this is literally someone moving, someone looking to move. It's like they want a house. This to me is like saying I'm leaving. And why are you leaving? Because it's not a good happy place. It's not a happy home. It's not successful. It once was. It could be again, but it's not right now. <laughs> this could be part of like the what was was or is a secret communication that was kept from someone is that things weren't good in the house in this relationship or this house and someone is like moving on maybe pisces you either helped them move on or your um that could be it like they have something so bad that you're helping someone move on and out of something or it's been communicated to you like how bad things are and like the decision to move on is like been made. Ten of Swords and that Queen of, of that. <laughs> Ten of Swords and Queen of Swords. Ten of Swords reversed. That's air. There's a lot of air energy here. A lot of air and wands. To me, that's a lot of like either sexy communication or fighting and this doesn't come across as sexy this comes across as fighting this is gemini libra aquarius but someone's communications are very sharp and have been hurtful maybe they're not told how hurtful maybe it's not like told how hurtful the things are that's being said but Maybe someone is verbally abusive and this is part of what needs to be moved on from. Like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I'm living my life to life acting stoic and like, I f have nothing going on when behind closed doors I'm like falling apart. Something here about like just going about business and not communicating about how bad it is. Um, I might even title it that like not telling anybody or communicating how bad it is. Um, Pisces, if this doesn't resonate, make sure to check out the other signs in your chart and I will catch you on the flip. Bye.